The Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary. Maury Amsterdam. Larry Matthews. And Mary Tyler Moore. I'll uh, close now, Miss Petrie. All fixed. There. Just think, at this very moment, the mighty Niagara, harnessed to giant generators, its energy racing along 400 miles of copper wire just to heat our toaster. All we have to do is wait. Don't we have to plug it in? <laughs> I think with that 400-mile running start, it could jump the last two feet by itself. <laughs> well, be any minute now, honey. You don't have to worry about buying any new toaster. Good. Now, what color do you like your toast? Honey gold? Or maybe cocoa tan? How about uh, cordovan brown? Rob. How about Rob. Rob. That's a nice shade. Basic black. <laughs> If you hadn't made me plug it in, this would never have happened. <laughs> well, dear, I'll leave you to work it out by yourself. I'm going shopping. Oh, hi, Laura. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Rob. Oh, hi, Jer. <coughs> she she uh, burned the toast. Oh, here. Just, <laughs> just returning your projector. Oh, how'd it work? Well, not so good. There's something wrong with it. It overheats and the film smokes and burns. It overheats and the film smokes and burns? I have to fix it. Sounds like you already did. <laughs> if Thomas Edison was married to her, we'd still be using candles. Hey, Rob, when are you going to get a new projector? Well, just as soon as I can afford one. When are you going to get one? Why well, don't mind borrowing yours until you get a new one? <laughs> Why don't you borrow a toaster? Oh. Darling, looks like I'll need an extra $20. I'm not... What did you do with the money I gave you yesterday? I gave every cent to a little old tramp who came to the back door, <laughs> delivering our groceries. <laughs> Today. Well, just for Jerry's benefit, I don't want him to think I'm a pushover. It hurt my image. You wouldn't want to do that. Bye, Doc. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Laura. <laughs> you know something? She is good with money. When it comes to finances, she's a pretty good man. Man. Huh? Huh? Well, here, Ross. Here, here, here. Huh? Well, I, I can't use that as monograph. <laughs> You can't blow on your family crest. <laughs> ah, no, 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 I'm sorry, Jerry. Ah, oh, there's, I can't... Ah, 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 It was just a sneeze. Oh, it must have been a view to blow off your socks and underwear. Oh, here, let me help you, Rock. Oh, oh. Hey, what's this? One of Laura's gloves. Don't you think she's going a little heavy on the starch? <laughs> what's inside? Well, I don't know, but it's not a human hand. <laughs> I mean, at least not life as we know it now. It must be something that uh, Laura's hiding, huh? Come on, Laura's not a hider. Hey, it's a bank book. Oh. Mrs. Laura Petrie. Isn't that cute? She's got a little nest egg of her own. Cute. You, uh, you, you really think that's cute, huh? Well, so she has a few dollars in her little private bank account. How much could it be? Okay, okay. How much? Well, I don't even have to look. It can't be more than just a little pittance. $378. <laughs> a little pittance? So she has a big pittance. <laughs> her pittance. But maybe she's just setting aside a little for a rainy day. $378? Boy, that's enough for the monsoon season. <laughs> oh, now, a lot of wives put aside a little for a rainy day. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing. But why is the money just in her name? I mean, uh, listen, if it rains, doesn't she care if you get wet? <laughs> Are you ready? I told you he was here. <laughs> right. 
You know what would be a cute idea for a sketch? Alan plays the part of a husband who accidentally finds his wife's checkbook. What do you mean? Well, I mean, she's got a private bank account she's socking money into. Oh, and he don't know anything about it. Yeah, and she's got like $378.16 in there. Hey, a sketch like this could be wild. A guy like that gotta be an idiot. Yeah, a real <laughs> schnook. <laughs> well, no, I... <laughs> Why couldn't a guy just be a plain, normal, intelligent, strikingly handsome young fellow with a wife named Laura? Oh, and maybe the schnook's name is Robert Petrie? That's a good name. <laughs> Rob, you mean Laura's been stashing it away without your knowledge? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, adorable. <laughs> cute and adorable. I don't know, but women do silly things like that. For years, my wife kept throwing quarters into a cookie jar. Drove me nuts. Finally, I found out what she was saving for. What was it? Cookies! <laughs> $378. What do you think Laura's stashing away for? I don't know. Yeah, it could be cookies. Everything's gone up. <laughs> well, anyway, it's it's her business. It's not really important. I think in a sketch, Alan hey, should... Wait a minute. Maybe it's just plain old mad money. Mad money? Yeah, you know, in case she gets mad at you. Then she can take the money, get a new house, buy a new car, get a new fella. For $378? So she'll get an old fella. <laughs> You know, you guys are joking, but there's one aspect of this whole silly thing that intrigues me. You mean the the fact that Laura's keeping a secret from you? No, that doesn't bother me. It's just the fact that she's keeping it a secret from me. That bothers me. <laughs> doesn't the fact that she's keeping it a secret bother you? No, I don't worry about things like that. If I were you, I'd worry about my hearing, Fred. <laughs> well, you... Rob, snap out! You're beginning to sound like a guy whose wife's ready to leave him. Oh, come on, I'm not worried. It's just I can't figure out why she's keeping the account a secret from me. Well, she's kept secrets from you before, hasn't she? No, this is the first one. You mean the first one you found out about? Come uh, on, what are you trying to do, break up Rob and Laura? Well, it's more fun than writing a sketch. <laughs> Sorry. You know, she probably has a good reason for keeping that secret from me, though. Hey, have you said or done anything lately to make her feel insecure? Like what? Oh, I don't know, like forgetting an anniversary or birthday or something? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, I bought her a beautiful present for my birthday. You bought her a present for your birthday? Boy, I bet she loved that. No, tomorrow is my birthday. Oh. We get the hint, Rob. Yeah, we'll get you something, Rob. <laughs> She's probably been saving that money to buy me a present. $378? Boy, that's a lot of present. Hey, you been hitting around for something big? No, nothing like a th Wait a minute, I bet she's gonna get me that movie projector I've been spouting off about. But it costs $425. Well, and that's it. That solves your problem. Yeah, now the only one with the problem is Laura. Let's see, she needs $425. She's $378. That means she needs, uh... What does she need? Forty-seven dollars. Oh, yeah, forty-seven. <laughs> Tell you something, Rob. If she's anything like my wife, she'll figure out a way to get that money. Yeah, Marge. Yeah, send her in. Laura's here. I told you. Already she figured out a way how to get that loot. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, how are you doing, Laura? Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Well, we'll leave you two alone in case you want to kiss or something like that. Oh, come on, buddy, let's go for coffee. No, I want to stay. I never saw a real holdup before. <laughs> See you later. Be back in a few dollars. Yeah, bye. Be back in a few dollars. What does that mean? Uh, he means uh, time is money. Uh, <laughs> hey, what are you doing downtown? Well, I was just in the neighborhood shopping. I thought I'd come in and say hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, honey, you know, uh, I've been thinking. I didn't give you very much extra money this morning. And. You know, when I left, I I noticed that uh, you ought to have the toaster fixed. You think so? Good idea. Okay. And, uh, oh, you know, uh, Richie's underwear has been ragged lately. <laughs> I've been meaning to get him some new shorts. Oh, good, good. Uh, oh, and uh, we were out of peanut butter this morning. Would you get some more peanut butter? Yes, I would. Okay. Let's see. That's uh, underwear, peanut butter, and the toaster. Do you think that would come to... Oh, I don't know, around, say, $47. $47? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll put in an extra tan, you get the leather case, too. <laughs> Can't carry peanut butter and underwear around in a plain paper bag, can you? Charlie, what makes you so generous today? Oh, well, the way I look at it, the, 
The more you give, the more you receive, huh? I guess so, dear. Well, I better finish my shopping. Okay. Bye-bye. Oops. Oh, sorry. No, 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 I'm just leaving. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye, Laura. Bye-bye. Happy shopping. Thank you. <laughs> Laura? New protector. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I had a good day. How's your day go? Just fine. Kind of tired, though. Shopping does wear you out. Yeah, oh, yeah, but I guess the important thing is uh, getting what you wanted, right? Right. Did you get the uh, peanut butter and the underwear and et cetera? Uh-huh. Dinner time will eat early, if that's all right. Oh, yeah, fine. I'll, uh, I'll hang up my hat. Got a lot of mail mm. today. Got one for my brother. Yes. <laughs> What's for dinner? Roast chicken, mashed potatoes, and string beans. Mmm. I can spell it down here. Bob, what are you looking for? Uh, I, uh, I dropped my tie, tie clip down there. Oh. Can't, uh, I can't find it. Need any help, honey? No, no. You hungry? Oh, sure, sure. Well, we'll be ready in a few minutes. Okay. I uh, could have bounced. There. I got those rubber mats under the carpet. It wasn't up there. No. Yeah. Darling, you can stop looking. Your birthday's tomorrow, and you're not getting your present till then. My birthday? <laughs> if you hadn't mentioned that, I would have completely forgotten it. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm a little old to be celebrating birthdays anyway, right? Rich. <laughs> it's not in there either. <laughs> I know that. I'm just kidding your mama. Rob, really? Look, before you turn the whole house upside down, I'll give you your present ahead of time. Well, <laughs> gee, I was born right after midnight anyway, honey. It's practically today. Richie, why don't you get your present too? Oh. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, hi, Rob. Roger. Say, uh, can I borrow your projector again? Sure. When do you need it back? You may keep it, sir. I'll make a present of it to you. Well, thanks, but how come? I'm getting a new one for my birthday. Now, get out of here. Why? What's the rush? I am in the middle of being surprised. Oh, okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. You ought to be a picture. You're beautiful to see. You ought to be a picture. My star of stars. Oh, thank you, Rich. It cost me a fortune. I bet it did. It's very sweet of you, Rich. That's okay, Daddy. You're worth 89 cents. <laughs> what is this? 
Oh, boy, a baseball cap. It's almost my size. My size. It is? Hey, let's see. Well, good. Maybe you can wear it once in a while, too, huh? Gee, thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Uh, this cord? Yes. Well? Rob, what did you think I was giving you? I... <laughs> electric blanket? <laughs> it's a cashmere sports shirt. Oh. <laughs> it's not electric, huh? No. It's one of the old-fashioned kind. Yeah. I won't need that anymore, I guess. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Oh, honey, thanks. <laughs> Gee, this is... This is really sweet of you. Well, is it a surprise? Boy, yeah, it sure is, honey. Hey. <laughs> honey, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Uh, Jerry wants to see me. Well, what's up? Well, I mean, uh, I gotta get my old sport shirt back. No, he wants to see my new one. Yeah, he wants to see the new one. <laughs> Gee, I'm so excited, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, boy, a new cashmere projector. Sport shirt. <laughs> Hey, Rob's gonna love this, boy. Yeah, buddy, set it up over there. He'll be here any minute. You're right. I'll get it. Good. Hello? Yeah, okay, Marge, thanks. He's here. Good, good, good. Well, uh, I, I think when a fella comes in, he should get a ball on a uh, funny hat. And, oh, 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 hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Yeah, it's good. And, uh, you see, when... Uh... Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Ta-da! <laughs> hey, <laughs> What was this? Oh, a little something birthday present for me and Sally. Oh, boy, a movie screen? No, it's a pair of Hungarian shoelaces. <laughs> of course it's a movie screen. Yeah, Rob, it's a new one to go with your new projector. Yeah, boy, that's that's really great. It's kind, kind of a set, you know. You like it? Yeah, I love it. It's marvelous. It's sure is a beauty. You should have done it. Gee, I have to take it home with me. <laughs> well, we better better get down to work, fellas. It's... Hey, it's beauty, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. You can take the price tag off. <laughs> well, I ain't ashamed. We paid retail. <laughs> Rob, did you did you act real surprised when Laura gave you the projector? Well, she uh, she didn't give me a projector. She didn't? No, oh, she gave me something that uh, she liked a lot more than it. What? A sports shirt. A $378 sports shirt? Well, it's, it's cashmere. Wow. <laughs> Look, fellas, should we go to work? Come on, stop clowning, Rob. I know Laura. She got you something more than a sports shirt. Yeah, what else did you get, Rob? A baseball cap. A baseball cap? Well, that's more like it. Richie gave it to me. Geez, three hundred and seventy-eight dollars. You'd think with all that. So, uh, yeah, we better we better get to work yeah, here. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back to work. Listen, Robin, you start at the top of the show. Yeah. Alan comes in. I can't work. The doggone bank account's gonna drive me crazy. That's it. What's this? She wants to drive you crazy so she can grab all your money while you're weaving baskets. <laughs> Rob, I think Buddy was right in the first place. Could be good old-fashioned mad money. Well, it must be mad money, because that money is making me mad. <laughs> Sorry. Why, it's not the money in the first place. It's just the fact she's keeping it a secret from me. Well, it's her money, and it's her secret, and there's nothing you can do about it. No. Well, I can take that bank book, number 6565696, wave it under her little nose, and ask her why she thinks she has to have a private bank account. Ah, uh, you wouldn't do that. Oh, no? Would you like to come home with me and watch? No, thanks. My wife and I are planning our own fight. <laughs> like a caged tiger. Let me pace a couple more times and I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, what is this? That's my glove, and what are you doing with it? I would just like to know why you think it necessary to hide a bank book in here. Rob, how could you? You looked in my private glove. <laughs> <laughs> How can I? How can you think so little of our relationship, of me? What has this?
this got to do with that? I would like to know why you think you have to have your own private bank account. Because I do, that's why. All right, then. The next logical question is, what is wrong with the money in our joint account? Well, that's our account and our money. This is my money. Your money? Yes, Rob. I want some money that's mine to spend on anything I want. It's important to me. I don't want everything coming from you. And where did you get this money? <laughs> from you? Well, isn't it all the same thing, then? Either you get money from me, or you get money from that, which came from me. No, Rob, it's completely different. Oh. <laughs> I put this money in a little at a time. At first, it's from you, but then after it lies around for a while, I forget that it came from you, and then it's from me. <laughs> oh, you just don't understand. Oh, yes, I understand. You want some money of your own. What I don't understand is why. That's it. That's exactly it. What's it? You just don't understand. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Honey, look, I want to understand, but you've got to help me a little bit. Now, just give me a hint. <laughs> the first word. The first letter. <laughs> Honey, please. All right, I'll tell you. And then I hope you'll be satisfied that you've just ruined everything. That money is for you. Uh, for me? I wanted to buy you something for your birthday. Well, you, you already bought me something for my birthday. Don't tell me that shirt cost... Oh, no, Rob, this money isn't for now. It's, it's for two or three or four years from now. Whenever I saved up enough money to buy you that stupid sports car you've been drooling over. Sports car? Yes, that silly XKG JFK 400 Roadster. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Honey, you mean you, you've been saving this to, to, to buy me an XKG JFK 400? I wanted to buy you a, an important present. An important... Well, <laughs> Honey, uh, Honey, it's a, it's a wonderful thought, but it's a little bit crazy. Where did you ever get an idea like that? From my mother. <laughs> Your mother? She saved for years. And then on their 25th wedding anniversary, she bought my father a big, important present. Well, what did she get him? His own room. <laughs> His own room? Well, I mean a den with a pool table and a beer dispenser. And now you've ruined it. Oh, honey, no, I haven't ruined it. Look, all, all I've done is force you to tell me something that makes me very, very happy that I'm married to you. As a matter of fact, now that I know, it's going to be a lot easier for you. How? Well, from now on, when you ask me for extra money, I'm going to be a pretty soft touch. <laughs> I'm being frivolous is because I'm so touched and embarrassed by the whole thing, and if I didn't joke about it, I'd... You'd what? Well, I'd probably put my arms around you and hug you so hard I'd break two or three of your ribs. Oh, please try. <laughs> Honey, you know, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and I think it's a wonderful idea, but... We got to look at the thing practically. It's going to take you 20 years to save enough money for that car. Don't you mean you want me to just forget all about it? No, no. <laughs> you know what we ought to do? What? I think we ought to sell the house and get the car right away. <laughs> well, what's the rush? Well, I know when I get the car, I intend asking you to take a trip with me, and I'd like to do it when I'm still young. What's the matter, darling? Don't you think I'd accept an invitation from a gray-haired old gentleman? Well, sure you would, but who wants to roll around the country in a hot sports car with a gray-haired old lady? <laughs> Good night, darling. Good night. 